let me be honest with you. By the way, I find that to be a very interesting expression. Because when people say, Chris, can I be honest? I always say, no, lie to me. See if I can catch it. But let me carry the thought a little bit forward. Let me be honest with you. I can't even remember how many diets I've started. And then I've dropped off on them. And the reason for that is, is because it hasn't bothered me enough, my weight or my physical well-being, hasn't bothered me enough to do something about it. That's comfortable in action because we let things stay as is until it really starts to bother us. Now, I know my wife will see this video, so I can assure you that the whole weight issue is going to take on a whole new meaning after she sees this. But let's talk about it in more general business terms. How often do you put up with certain clients, certain employees, or certain market conditions because they just don't bother you enough? Uh, I'll deal with that tomorrow. And maybe the next time I'll talk to that individual about that. That is comfortable in action. And invariably, almost, I can almost guarantee it, that when you finally decide to act, the situation is either worse then, or will be worse, or it may be beyond the point of no return. If something needs to be addressed, by God, address it at that particular point in time. I often use a metaphor, and I, I use it in a video, on how do you cut the tail off a tiger? Okay? And the, re the response is, you go right to the butt, and you cut that tail off. But some of us like to cut that tail off an inch at a time because maybe it'll take care of itself or maybe they'll change or maybe the situation isn't as really bad. I can live with it a little longer. And every time that tiger sees you coming with that scissor to take that next inch off, that tiger's going to get angry and do something. In other words, the problem gets worse. Don't let comfortable inaction dictate your future.